Welcome to US News Source Channel. Explosions have increased on the territory of Crimea. Crimea has been subjected to the biggest drone attack of recent times. Panic rose in the region at night. Violence of the operations is increasing in the key region Sevastopol. Russian Navy and air defense systems are activated. Belarus may also fall into the trap of the Ukrainian armed forces. Important measures and traps have been set at the border. Tensions between countries are rising. Joint tactical flight exercises of Russian and Belarusian aviation units have started. Military preparations between the two countries increase the tension between the countries. Operations on the fronts have now spread to the territory of Crimea. After the mysterious attacks, violent attacks were launched. In our previous video, we talked about possible moves towards the territory of Crimea and the start of preparations by NATO and Ukraine. Following these developments, explosion sounds echoed in the Sevastopol region, according to breaking news. It was claimed that the Ukrainian army carried out an attack with unmanned aerial vehicles at night. These drones have reportedly been spotted in the skies of the Severnaya Bukta region. Allegedly, this aircraft was detected by Russian air defense systems and shot down. Explosions were said to be quite violent. According to estimates, this aircraft was carrying a large amount of explosives. As a result of the attack, it was reported that the flames rose from the region. According to the allegations, the largest unmanned aerial vehicle attack in history was carried out on the territory of Crimea. It was claimed that these attacks were carried out with 10 unmanned aerial vehicles. According to the statements, one of the biggest attacks was carried out with unmanned aerial vehicles on the territory of Crimea. According to the claims of Sevastopol Governor Mikhail Razvazhev, these aircraft were intercepted by the Russian Navy's Black Sea Fleet and Russian air defense systems. However, due to the small size of these unmanned aerial vehicles, it is known that it is very difficult to prevent attacks. It was stated that there was no statement from Ukraine regarding these attack allegations. However, considering that the Ukrainian army has carried out attacks with unmanned surface vehicles before, it is only a matter of time before the operations against Crimea are increased. In fact, many officials from Ukraine had previously given signals that they would retake this region and that operations could begin. In the previous attacks, both several ships from the Russian Navy's Black Sea Fleet and the Russian military base were seriously damaged. This situation also increases the tension on the Moscow side. As mentioned in the past days, it seems possible to start operations with NATO military equipment in the region. In the future, losing Crimea on behalf of Russia will be the biggest defeat. In fact, attacks were launched again in the border region of Kherson, the region where he ordered a withdrawal just to avoid losing this area. Because the deployment of Ukrainian soldiers in this region causes the Russian military points in the Crimean territory to come within the range of the missile systems. Although this causes Russia to increase its attacks on this region again, Ukrainian soldiers successfully prevent these attacks. This causes conflicts to increase day by day. But the Russian soldiers will have more and more difficulties. As it is known, if NATO equipment comes into play on the southern front, operations on behalf of the Russian army will become more challenging. This may even cause Russia to lose Crimea in the long run. Moreover, since this will be the biggest defeat, he may want to do everything to prevent this. However, this will cause reactions from many countries. Now, one of the most critical issues in the war is the Crimean issue. Time will tell what will happen. Tensions between countries are also increasing in the war. It is known that the Ukrainian army carried out strategic moves on the fronts. It has been reported that these moves were carried out on the Belarusian border, this time. According to the latest news, the armed forces of Ukraine placed self-propelled guns and HIMARS missile systems decoys on the border with Belarus. Ukraine, which has placed hundreds of traps on the border, is also constantly moving. It is stated that Ukrainian troops are deploying many false targets to the border, such as air defense systems, HIMARS systems, towed howitzers and self-propelled gun imitators. Moreover, by constantly changing the location of these traps, it also makes it difficult to track their true location. According to the images, these models seem to imitate very well. According to experts, 
With these moves, the Ukrainian armed forces are trying to hide the true location of the HIMARS missile systems deployed on the Belarusian border. Measures taken at the borders of this country increase the tension between the countries. It is known that the Ukrainian army gained significant advantages with such tactics on the fronts. Thanks to this false target, the ammunition used by the Russian soldiers in the attacks is also wasted and the real equipment cannot be located. Such strategic moves demonstrate the military capabilities of the Ukrainian armed forces and the advantages they can provide on the fronts. In the future, any such move will be of much more strategic importance. At the same time, the military preparations of Russia and Belarus continue. According to the breaking news, flight exercises of the armed forces of the Republic of Belarus and the aviation units of Russia have been launched. Joint tactical flight exercises of the armed forces of the Republic of Belarus and aviation units of the Russian Federation, which are part of the aviation component of the regional unit grouping, have begun, the Belarusian Ministry of Defense stated. It was announced that the military unit of the Russian Aerospace Forces also participated in the exercises. It was also stated that the main purpose of the exercises was to increase interoperability in joint training and combat missions. According to reports, Russia and Belarus plan to train their troops in areas such as aerial reconnaissance, tactical airborne landing, joint airspace patrolling along the border, cargo delivery and providing aviation support for troop groups. In addition, the Ministry of Defense of Belarus reported that all air bases and military training areas belonging to the Belarusian Air Force and Air Defense Forces were used for the exercise. Development of relations between these two countries and the increase of military preparations cause concern in many countries, especially in Ukraine. To remind you, after Russia and Belarus started preparations in the past days, many countries started to deploy their military resources on the border of these two countries. After this move, it was stated that the moves of Russia and Belarus were followed. As a result of a possible move, Russia and Belarus will have difficulty in finding another country that can take them to their side. Involvement of other countries in the war will increase the tension even more. If tensions between countries rise and the war spreads to other countries, Russia will have to face its loneliness. Russia, which is already at odds with many countries and is subject to sanctions due to the war, may have to face greater losses and defeats if it pulls Belarus to its side and expands the scope of the war. Likewise, Belarus may regret that it provided these supports and stood by Russia. For such reasons, relations between countries are now much more important. It is known that Ukraine has taken advantage of many times since the beginning of the war. These advantages are thanks to the support provided by the countries and the capabilities of the army. Since the beginning of the war, the support provided for Ukraine has been increasing day by day, increasing the losses of Russia even more. Moreover, Moscow, which is dealing with important problems even in its military industry and economy due to the sanctions, will not be able to compensate for the heavy losses it has inflicted if it has to face more problems. In the long run, one of the most important situations in the war will be relations between countries. If Russia is subject to more sanctions and cannot cope with the losses, defeats will become inevitable. Ukraine, on the other hand, will have a great advantage in the war if it continues to use the support provided and if the support from the countries is increased. In the Russian-Ukrainian war, the intensity of the operations is increasing day by day. This necessitates that any move taken should be carried out in a much more strategic direction. We'll see what happens in the next few days. We have reached the end of another video. You can support us by liking the video. You can easily follow new videos by subscribing. I wish you all a war-free day. See you.